one of our competitors in the UK has built four trucks for IMG to uh, take feeds from the Premier League and uh, dress them up, put them out around the world. So the Premier League that you see around the world is brought back on a, on a Remy type operation. It's a small truck, four cameras, takes the feed, adds three, takes it all back to IMG London, then it's distributed around the world. So, and they're doing about 150, 170 events a year. So that's the real first contract that's come out of that. Um, in Europe, the second tier of uh, football is remote, but remote back to the broadcaster, and that's a full eight, nine camera shoot, so they do that. So some of the smaller countries in Europe, Holland uh, and Belgium specifically, are doing quite a lot of it. Uh, but the UK, it's just the one contract, but Sky have been experimenting with it. Um, we suffer a little bit because we don't have the long distances you have, so right. a, a Remy event in London doesn't save them a lot of money because the talent just drives to the event, so it really only works further away. So, uh, But, yes, it's, it's certainly rearing its head, and uh, I think we'll all end up building or converting small trucks. From any NEP perspective, uh, we evaluate every opportunity on the merits that, um, uh, that, that, that come at us, technical and in business. Uh, and there are some limited REMI offerings that we have in the United States. Uh, I will say that in, in other parts of the world, uh, they are going to be more robust. Can't name exactly who it's going to be, but in Australia, for instance, uh, we're going to be uh, overseeing the entire ecosystem of, we'll call it Remy, um, in Australia, where it'll be the, the studios, uh, control rooms, uh, the transports, and the, the OB deployment as well. So. Uh, we, uh, we'll, we'll look at it on the, uh, the merits of, of, of each opportunity. And when it's the right time to invest and the right time to, 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 to push, uh, that's what we'll do. And uh, you, in terms of just an overall business model, you sort of target where it makes sense, like you said, but you don't think that would be cannibalizing sort of the golden goose uh, of the NEP business, well, which is the 53%. Well, it certainly would. I mean, listen, the, the, but, but I think that the, the, you could look at it that way, but you could also look at it if you put your head in the sand and don't acknowledge right. that there's going to be uh, an element of your business that's going to move in that direction, then shame on you. I think we just have to respond to the marketplace. Uh, that happened to us quite a few years ago when uh, our clients asked us to develop the dual feed, which is a super economical way to do the home and away show. Uh, and that's worked extremely well for us and we think our, our clients. Um, similarly, we have to the, uh, come work with them on, on at home, Remy, <laughs> whatever, home run. Uh, but I think we're just seeing the beginning of this and, and we're certainly doing a bunch of them. Uh, I think we're gonna see an evolution of this and it's, it's gonna be a little different. Maybe the European or Australian model is gonna teach us something but we need we need to we need to find the next step in that. Right now, it's kind of a little bit ad hoc, and uh, I think you're going to see some interesting developments there in the next two or three years. Sure. Well, I agree with Phil. It's really kind of an evolving uh, uh, technology, and and you know one of the things about Remy that we found is, yes, we want to do a Remy, and we're gonna we're gonna move EBS and we're gonna move the the TD back to a, uh, a you know a master control or whatever. Uh, but the audio requirements remain the same as what they are in a regular show. So, you know, and, and, and our audio uh, on all of our trucks is fairly robust. And, you know, the, it, it, I, 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 I keep on thinking about it and saying, well, you know, are we really going to uh, put all this stuff in a Sprinter van and then all of a sudden you have a fairly significant audio infrastructure in a Sprinter van? And... Uh, you're going to have to make a big investment in that. Those that the audio is a huge part of what of what we do. So, so I I, I agree with Phil. I think uh, you know we 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 service Remy events. Uh, we do it in a way that we think is efficient for us and efficient for our customers. Uh, but I don't think that we're going to be uh, building purpose-built Remy trucks until this uh, market really sort of solidifies a little bit better. Okay.